Hello world, hope you're having a great day. Time to attack it, let's go. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips on publishing a Google site. In my classroom, my students are working on a portfolio. It's a website that has all of their work on it, specifically for my class, but also I want them to share any of the classes, all of their classes, their sports, their extracurricular, uh, stuff they do outside of school, so have a one-stop shop information about themselves. What we do to turn that in is it's the end of the year, so you are going to, the students are going to email this website to the teacher and then to the parents. So let's get started. I've got lists of things that I want the students to have on it. So I share that with the students way back in the day. Uh, this part over here is the second semester. First semester, they added all this. Now that it's second semester, this is the specifics that I'm looking for for my intro to engineering class. And then this is my digital electronics class. What they do are on their end is they create a website about the class. And in there, I want them to have a Google slide I encourage my students to make a portfolio using Google Slides because it's just everybody knows how to use Google Slides. When a student adds to their Google Slide, it is as simple as hitting insert, going down to slides, and if they're just recently working on it, it should be right there. So you just click on it, smash that insert button, and it's right there. You can find a place to, to put it and make sure you hit the publish button after you make any edits. Students also make sure that this is shared properly. So when you're looking at your portfolio, hit that share button, hit the advance button, and make sure you change it to anyone can view. So anyone with this link can view right there, hit save and hit done. So I want them to have pages about stuff they like to do. So if they're in sports, put a page about their sports and their statistics and their huddle and their YouTube uh, highlights. After you've gone through the rubric here and you've checked everything, and if you're missing something, you know, partial credit is still better than no credit. So then what you do is you smash that publish button. After you hit the publish button, but before you send it to anyone specific, I wanna really encourage you to send it to yourself. And here's the reason why, because Google doesn't warn you about access um, sometimes stuff is hidden, sometimes stuff is blocked. So here's a quick way to check. Hit this copy link button and copy it. Now put it into a web browser that you don't use or email it to your personal account. So this is my school website. So if I go to Internet Explorer and I know at the beginning of the year I said don't use Internet Explorer for anything. Well, this is the one time to use Internet Explorer. You'll notice I am not signed in. Do not sign in. Okay. Paste that link that you just copied there and hit enter. You'll notice that there is a big red X right there. So something's wrong with that and I need to fix it. And if I scroll down, there's another big red X right there, I need to fix those. So going back, this is my agenda for DE. It might be Google Slides, uh, it might be your portfolio. So if I go here and I hit that share button, I'm gonna go to advance and I'm going to change the specifics because right now only specific people can access this. So I'm gonna hit change and now I'm gonna hit on anyone with this link. So since that link is connected to the website, it's gonna work now if I hit save. Oh, by the way, make sure you hit can view. Hit save and done. Let's check out what the other one was. So if I scroll down, there's this. I believe it was a video of some kind. If I scroll down here, Yes, it's a video, it's my majority vote video. So now I need to go into my DE folder and I've got some videos that I've made or students have made and I right click on this majority vote video and I go to share, again, hit advanced and you'll see specific people can access. It's the default, so this happens. Hit change and again, anyone with this can view. All right, hit save and done. And now when I go back to this and I press refresh or F5, all right, this now shows up, this now shows up, and what you're gonna wanna do is kind of check this on all of your pages, make sure that nothing is blocked, make sure that everything loads, 
and everything is placed where you want it to be placed. Now it's time to turn it in. So smash that publish button just one more time. Hit this copy link. Please do not share this with anybody. If you share your website to me or um, your parents, we then have editing rights to do uh, to work on it. And we don't want editing rights. We want to see all of your work and we are very proud of you. So hit that publish button, hit that link button right there, copy that link, go to your email, write a very nice and polite email. Please address the email to me and at least one of your parents. The title or subject of the email can just simply say portfolio and website. When you write a nice email, you can you know write something like this and then we're going to add the link to your website. So you can simply highlight the words or words that you want to um, create a link to. Down here, there is a link button, insert link. And then you can simply paste the link of your website. Now, before you send it, make sure you test the link and, and check it and make sure it always works. There it goes, my website works. Hit OK. And of course, remember to end it. Once you hit send, you're done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, if you want to check them out, my website, it is down below, and I'm happy to help.